Okay, gents, quick preview, because ultimately we are doing a neck tension test, but we're also following low data by the book. I think I have this inkling that maybe if we follow published load data, maybe we'll have more success. But we are using Hornaday 105 grain match bullets, the Botail hollow point, with Stable 6.5, CCI number 41 primers, and we're at an overall length of 2.200, also Hornady brass. So this is the charges from the book. 28 grains is the minimum charge. 30 is not the maximum charge. However, that is when I started to get compressed loads, so I did stop there. Uh, and we're doing gross powder graduations, 0.5 grains. We're just going to see how things are because the neck tension test is really the important thing here. Quick note, and you'll see this on my targets, I mixed up 28.5, but I have them labeled. That said, let's take a look at our results. Here is, this is the tightest neck tension, so 0.266, and we read it just like a book, left to right, up to down, and then I had to improvise my last target because I thought I had printed off enough, but alas. And anyway, you can see we kind of have a general rule of thumb that we're getting some flyers and things. Oh, also, I had a bad primer here. It's, for whatever reason, the fifth shot didn't work. But either way, we see that the groups aren't necessarily tightening up. There does seem to be maybe a vague trend that things are moving over to the right. I say vague, but a slight trend. And you'll notice that the best group of the day, the best group of the day is the one that says 267 next to it. So that's 28 and a half. That's one of the ones I mixed up. Yeah, well, that is basically the trend, because look at this. Here's the minimum charge. It's like half the size. We still have an outlier. We still have a flyer out there. Uh, and then one of the worst groups that we have is the one that's labeled 266. And then I guess this is actually the next charge. It's a fairly honest group, a little over an inch, perhaps. But then things really tighten up. This looks like it actually might be slightly over a half inch, center to the center. Range Buddy will tell us for sure. But then when we get to the upper end, things fall apart. Like, almost grotesquely. In fact, these groups look almost like they belong up there, but they don't. Uh, these are approximately the same size. This actually ended up doing a lot better, but, well, it looks like it did a lot better. Because you have one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah. And this one spat one out over there. Which, that, I don't know. Probably is the load because they're compressed charges. They were kind of causing some indentation on the bullets, but who knows how much that would affect it 100 yards realistically. But either way, yeah, definitely 267, the looser or not as tight neck tension, seemed to be the way to go. Also, I single fed these. I did not load these from a magazine. So considering this is not drastically different from what I would get with a magazine I don't think I'm gonna bother doing that again but sometimes you just have to test things